Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Honest Vibes Only. Today, we have something a little bit different. I'm joined with guests, and we have video. Um, so I'm joined by I am Keaton Kiera, and I am also joined by Kevin, who goes by KD Learns um, in the content creation world. And we're all here today to bring you guys a different kind of segment on my podcast uh, related to chess, content creation, and mental health as well. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm looking really forward to this project. It's an honor to be here. Absolutely. I feel the same way. <laughs> so um, I thought we would kind of just do an intro episode today and kind of talk to you guys about why we're doing this, what inspired it. And Keen was actually one that reached out to us and kind of started this whole thing. So I thought I would let him take it away as to what inspired him to uh, reach out. Thank you, Davina. So I, I would say what inspired me is I've kind of made a return to chess after the pandemic. I wasn't playing very actively during the pandemic. And I have, I'm fortunate to be very well connected in the chess community. I have a lot of wonderful friends. I have so many students. Uh, I've been so fortunate to have been in a position to mentor a lot of people in the in the chess world. And just there are very many people that I'm close to. And one thing that I've noticed recently is a lot of the people who I know in chess, especially a lot of the younger people, maybe around college age or young adulthood, are having some struggles with their mental health. I would say depression in particular is something I've noticed a lot of. And I think there's a lot of it just in the world in general right now. But it's, it's definitely something that I've noticed within the chess community that I didn't notice before. And it got my attention. And I really just want to do everything that I can to help as much as I can and to be of service. It's something that I'm familiar with myself. I've certainly experienced depression. And, you know, any kind of guidance or help or friendship or support that I can offer anyone who's going through a tough time. I just want to be here to do that and to um, to do my best to to try to help, you know, anyone who's going through something. Yeah, I think uh, it's an awesome movement. And Katie and I were instantly ready to uh, kind of back you up with that and help you in any way. Um, I am extremely passionate about mental health as well. That's kind of the whole basis of my current podcast anyway so I was super happy to uh, help out with this and I do not really compete uh, over the board much anymore um, but I did basically my entire childhood up until I was 17 or 18 years old um, so I do have a lot of experience from it and being a chess coach and in the content creation world uh, these days I also still experience it um, in different ways so I think we can all kind of come together about uh, a topic that definitely you know should be spoken more about and we all kind of know it's there but we don't really have a united thing to kind of talk about it so yeah yeah and uh, I'm I'm more of the newcomer to the world of chess but I started learning chess as an adult a couple of years ago as part of the Queen's Gambit Netflix show bandwagon. But uh, but there's also something to be said for the group of people that, um, you know, chess might not have been your first love, but it's something that you do now. And um, whether it's just for enjoyment or that you expect some sort of results or improvement, there's still an element of, you know, how do you progress and, and, and commit time and effort into something and what do you get out of it? Um, and just in terms of mental health, you know, I uh, I feel like I've gone through life very results oriented, and that's how I was raised. And sometimes it's it's tough for me to kind of take a take a pause and reflect on, you know, how do it do a little self check in and and uh, reflect on feelings. So I feel like it's just it's good to kind of remind everyone, myself included, that it's okay to take a pause and check in on yourself. You know. 
I would definitely agree. And I think it's really cool because we all come from different like kind of walks of life, but we can unite over chess and we each kind of have our own different perspective because we're all in a little bit of a different niche, but a lot of it also overlaps. So I think that's really cool. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, so kind of uh, what you guys can expect from us. Um, some episodes, so this is the intro one, so we're all here together. Uh, some episodes will just be me and Kevin. Some episodes might just be me and Keaton. Um, and other episodes might just be all three of us. Um, we'll kind of come up with a topic ahead of time and kind of decide who might be best or have like the most experience with it um, and what combo would be best for future episodes. Um, and again, we're trying to reach as many people as possible. Um, and we really hope you guys will enjoy this project. So if there's any time you guys have a certain topic or just questions in general, um, or anything you guys would like us to talk about or any um, opinions from us you would like, uh, always feel free to reach out to any of us. Um, we're really more than happy to help. And the more feedback, honestly, the better for, for the future. Definitely. Yeah. Anything else uh, you guys would like to add about the project? Sounds good to me. I think uh, I think you pretty much got it. And I definitely echo what you said about our diversity and background and how we're we're coming together to to work on something that's so significant. And I think that's really cool. Yeah. And one thing I'd like to add is you were saying that we're all coming from very different walks of life and chess is the is what's unifying us. And it's just funny because chess, in my eyes, is like the most universal language out there. Right. Uh, there's English, Chinese, all, 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 all actual like languages. Right. But the one thing that you can put two people in a room that can't understand a single word of each other, <laughs> they could they could understand the chessboard. Right. And that's really cool to me. And it even serves as a microcosm for other endeavors in life. Because like I said, chess wasn't my first love. So I can draw so many parallels between, um, you know, 20 plus years of playing tennis to my chess journey right now. And it's just all these different lessons that I learned throughout those journeys are really helping me with my chess journey and vice versa. So um, I just, yeah, I just really excited how, we can spread a message about how our experiences in chess helped us and, and challenged us and then use that for the audience to kind of pick that apart and see how they can, um, you know, benefit from it as well. Yeah. And, you know, hopefully whatever age you are, whether you compete competitively, whether you just play for fun, whether you're new to the game, um, regardless, hopefully you'll be, re be able to relate to us uh, in, in the slightest way, even um, we're hoping to help. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, if you guys have nothing else to say, thank you guys so much for listening to this intro episode. We look forward to diving into some topics in the future. And let us know if you guys have any particular topics uh, for us to talk about. And thank you guys for listening. And thank you guys for your time. I appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Take care. <laughs>